Right, I'm doing this one on my phone. It is now quarter to nine and it is Thursday 16th of February. Right. I fiddle about with this a bit yesterday so I don't know what I did but I can't get into the secret menu. Right, we'll bomb that one. Had a bit of a rain last night. I can hear the fan going. Nice. I'll get back to you when it starts uh, kicking in. Just started again. As usual, I'm getting loads of smoke. But what I am going to do later on is I will bring the car into the garden and then compare the amount of noise coming out of this exhaust compared to coming out of the car exhaust. Shut the door so it fumes don't go into the house. I mean, no doubt these will be good for small things like caravans and campers, mm, garages, small workshops, things like that. But you shouldn't be getting this amount of smoke heating it up I mean, it's starting to pick up now okay, it's cooking away no, it's gone faster so now it'll stop smoking there, it stopped smoking now and it's well nearly stopped smoking and it's fired up so I will do the other little test a bit later on That'll be just to compare the noise from this compared to a normal exhaust. Right, it is now 54 on 16. And now we've got some of that oil system. See what happens. Ignition. Ignition failed. Detection. Oil pump. Oil supply system. Igniter. Right, it's still coming up with that. I went outside to see what was happening. It's still running. But it's smoking like a bitch. I tried turning it off and it wouldn't turn off. The only thing I can think of doing is uh, turning it off at the socket. Right, I'll shut this up. I might have to crack it open and see what the inside's like. The smoke's dying away slowly. Virtually gone there now. So there's hardly any pressure coming out of that. Still wearing. The pumps are not going. I 
we have to shut it down at the socket and try redoing it again. Well, I'll show you what happens here. Right, push that. That's the power, it should turn it off, but it's not doing nothing. So, all I can do is turn the socket off. Socket off. It's now dead as a dodo. Right, power back on. Fire it up. Start up. Oh, let's see if the uh, pump's ticking away. Yeah. You can hear the fan, the fan's working. Right, the fan's slowed down now. Hmm. I remember pump not kicking in straight away before but I can't remember how long it was between turning it on and the actual pump starting to pump right I'll turn the clip off for now as in the video clip and oh no it started right couple of clicks so you can hear it clicking I see the little fucking air bubbles going through it's now picking up right it's actually clear compared to what it usually is Just have a check inside, make sure that it's not giving any messages. No, nope, that seems to be working as it should be. <coughs> Oops, click, click, click in away. Sorry having to keep bobbing about from this side to that but if I just stand here you're not going to get to see a right lot or hear a right lot Right, the speed's picking up I'm not sure if you can actually hear it but I can hear the pump kicking, fans going faster Just have to see what happens. Well, we're on 40 seconds now. And it's 
pretty sure it should have fired up by now. The smoke's getting thicker. Got it a turbo which can clear it, it is now fired up. And that should clear. Or maybe it's not gone into full start up yet. Yeah. I know it's not actually called turbo, I just call it the turbo because it goes from a slow to a fast and you can you can hear it like accelerating. Lots of black smoke, smoke again, rather grey smoke. Yep, it's definitely getting bad. That looks more like a black smoke, it's not showing up on the camera, but that's like a black smoke in there. We're now at 40 seconds of black smoke coming out. So I think I'm going to have to shut it down, dismantle it and see what's happening. Yeah, that's a minute of it smoking, and it's never gone on for a minute before. Or at least I don't think it has. Right, I'm going to have to go in and shut it down. That is just going to shut it down, go through the cooling down period, and then I'll take it to bits and see what happens. Right, it sounds like it's all shut down. Yep, it's definitely all shut down, but it will last than 10 minutes between, turn, uh, between turning it on and getting that error fault so something has definitely gone tits up with it and i'm gonna have to dismantle it and take it to bits right i'm just seeing how long it was smoking for this is where i turned it on and it had just started up and this is at four minutes but it worked 4 minutes and 17 seconds if I zip over to there click on where's my do okay it got turned off at 17 seconds so 4 minutes it will kick out every smoke right if you've watched my previous videos you'll see on part 5 that I'd actually Turn the heater on for the first time on the previous day, which was the 11th of February. It is now the 16th, a total run from brand new of six days with maybe 80 hours of running. And it's that 80 hours of running that's been shown in the previous videos. But You'll notice in the previous ones it had start, smoke, stop and run. But today it will plane up like a good one. But before I dismantled it I thought I'd give it one more go. And it is now running fine. But I've had no but trouble with this since it got installed. There you see, there's no smoke at all now, but no but trouble with it. 
So I think I'm gonna have to buy all the gubbins for the inside there. I've got a little wire basket thing that I'm gonna need some other bits. Trouble is, last time I ordered those, it took about four weeks and they never turned up. So I cancelled them. Right, I'll add this to the previous clip and then I'll post it on YouTube.